Hey folks, this is IO8 Theron back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Braz and his Progetto. This is a tier 9 game on Crowley, and it's a defense against an assault. Now you can see this guy really loves his tank. Um, and I don't blame him. This is a beautiful tank. Um, I like that nice gun barrel, actually. Wait, are those three marks of excellence? Okay, this should be a good game. Um, uh, he is blue, so we'll have to see if, if he uh, if he turns blue as far as the rest of the team is concerned or not in this game. Um, and just just don't be don't don't be blue. Okay. Um, before we get too far into the game, I do want to say um, the contest is still running. I still haven't received a winning. Um, uh, thing somebody saying they they've won um and showing me their uh, a fully completed card so if you guys still want into that it's still there uh also the patreon campaign for causing me pain is still going um so if you want to uh you want to cause me pain then you guys can pick what uh body part i wax legs elbow or legs legs Eyebrows, arms, or chest, depending on um, how much pain you want to put me through, and whether that pain is humiliation or not. Imagine me doing videos with only one eyebrow. I, I don't, I don't like that at plan. But you can still do it for only a couple bucks. And uh, now into the game as he's about to shoot this T54. He it looks like he's actually intending on unloading the entire clip. He does. Um. Okay, so with this gun, if you only unload the first shell and you treat it as a single fire weapon, uh, then it has the fastest DPM on the tank. However, if you unload two shells, then it's a much worse DPM. And if you unload three shells, it becomes a horrendous DPM. Now, the DPM doesn't look all that bad for him on this. I'm going to guess that cause that's because he's running food. Uh, which is, of course, the spaghetti. Uh, I assume he's also got Brothers in Arms and a gun rammer on this thing. Um, though I don't know if you can put a gun rammer on so maybe it's just Brothers in Arms and, like, vents or something. Because um, it looks like it's four seconds. This is real rate. As long as he's only fired the one shell. Uh, it's not bad, actually. Uh, he's looking for shots. He hasn't really found too many, except on that T-54 and, of course, the one into the charioteer. Um, but the, the fact is, when he tracked the chariot or the T-54, he, he held it in place, and the rest of his team hammered it, which is why it died so fast. I'm sure that's going to be what he's looking to do with the next tank. Uh, however, he's going to have to find one that's in a sufficient location for him to do that with. Right now, everybody's behind cover, and so you can't really like get in, uh, these guys out in the open and track them in place yet. The other thing is, of course, he doesn't really need to. As long as he, they hold the tanks back for another six minutes, this game is a victory. Uh, anyway, obviously, one of them has to stay alive. And they have to last more than 6 minutes and 34 seconds. But that's not hard when your enemy doesn't want to push out into the open. Um, the real question is, will the defenders get bored? Because if the defenders get bored, then they start pushing out their nice, comfortable uh, positions and get into some bad trouble now. That is an OHO. Um, but he's not aiming at the OHO. He's still looking for the 69 uh, to come out. Oh, now the OHO is fully out. Oh, he missed that shot. And nope, lower plate. He would have done better to go for the side armor on that thing at that point in time. Or I probably would have gone for the tracking shot. As it is, he's going to have to do a complete reload. And it's just going to be a little bit annoying while he does that. Ooh, T69 gets one into him. And 
they start trading auto loader fire. <laughs> but it's okay. We kind of came in on, on, on the top of that. Um, there isn't much going on up north by the looks of it. There's a lot more on this side of the map. Um, but at the same time, it looks can be deceiving. Where is that T-34? Oh, look. Oh, wait, wait. Nope. No one. Looks like he's going to go for the T-34. But he can't find him. Now he is in those rocks and, and undulations in and around the bottom of the cap. So that's good for the, the T-34. It's bad for us, though, to try and kill him. There's only a few places you can shoot in there from. And they're all over here. Which, of course, is not somewhere we are. T69 got itself trashed and is actually backing way off. Uh, so with only the object and the Samoa here, he might start to go in, especially since Samoa gets itself tracked. Oh, unfortunately for him, though, uh, for Burez, the gun depression allowed it to still put a shot into us. Lightweight now getting a shot in as well. Samoa gets itself killed, and now we're just looking for incoming rounds from the lightweight, which one of them actually just missed us. Um, you may or may not have heard it, but I heard a, a hit over here somewhere, um, from the lightweight shooting at us blind. Thankfully, though, since he wasn't in his original location, the shot passed harmlessly by. Um, he's now looking for the 257. This is a time when you might consider pushing up. Uh, he does actually pop his head over the ridge and put the shell into the, the enemy projecto. Um, I might consider pushing up to this ridge line here, um, because of the fact that, yeah, you might get, you'll get shot more by the, the Pichetto, but you'll have better shots on things from up there. Uh, it just depends on how safe you want to play. At this point in time, he's playing very, very safe. Oh, 101 in the open. Unfortunately, not able to track it. It does track it with a second shell, though. And then fish it off with the third shell. And so doesn't give anybody else any tracking or any damage for um, him tracking it. But he also gets to kill something. So you always want to get kills if you can get kills. Um, they give you significantly more experience than they feel like they should. Even if they're literal kill steals. But the guy only has one health. You'll still get a boost of experience. That is vastly disproportionate to the amount of damage that it took to kill that guy. Um, looking for shots on either Pichetto or the, the 257. He's going to have to push up at some point. There's the 257 way down there. And now that gives us the room to push up. So I thought about speeding this up, but I don't think I'm going to. Two minutes left in this game. And while he's not looking at us, he pops over the ridge. So unfortunately, 257 being really quite accurate does manage to uh, put the snapshot into us. And now he's a one shot for everything left on the board, with the exception of the lightweight. Uh, finding the enemy Pichetto would be great, except for the fact that he can't actually do anything against it right this second because he's, in fact, still reloading. And he really does need, want to get that entire clip in before it starts engaging anyone. If you're just constantly firing that, that first shell out of, the, out of the drum as soon as it reloads, um, and not waiting for there, it to have three shells in the drum, then uh, your DPM is going to plummet to something like half of the original DPM of the thing. And there's the lightweight. Jumping into cover after being lit for a while. Oh, the lightweight's on his side. Uh-uh. Well, that's doing the end of him. Don't even have to move from... Just going to keep shooting into him. Um, could go ahead and flip him back up onto his tracks. That would be more honorable. But not necessarily more fun. And sometime around here, he's going to reload the entire magazine into this guy. Or at least I would. There we go. There's a dead 54. And he's looking for shots on the 263 in more or less the same breath. Uh, and now they're down to only three. And they're all three right there. 
I'm gonna speed this up as he. No, never mind. I was assuming he was gonna go quite a bit deeper, but uh, he's just waiting for. I guess he's waiting for, waiting for that chariot to here to back off. Now that nothing else is alive, he's just gonna rush a little bit farther in, and then be looking for easy shots on the two six three. He is getting that lower plate of the two six three, and he's out of everything but a PCR. So he is in fact firing some APCR. Oop! That victory. Wait, I mm, I forgot about the count, the uh, the timer. And I was just thinking about these two needs to die. This was a good game, and thankfully we did not hit a teammate. So he should be he should have the blue stats removed pretty soon. Cool. Ace tanker. Ooh, hand of God. Bruiser duos. Fire for effect. Confederate and high caliber. Well done. Um, not quite able to get the, the kills he wanted, I'm sure. But that's okay. This gun is actually really great for those kill steals. Because you can let your team or you can whittle somebody down to like 600 health-ish. And then just unload the rest of the clip and finish people off. And then while you're reloading, you're hunting down somebody else. Uh, and that's actually the way I like to play this thing. Or if you suddenly have a desperation move where, you know, your first shell was supposed to kill somebody, it bounces for some reason, then you can always put in that second shell and finish off the target. Um, my eyes are going all weird on me. Um, I wish you'd managed to get Brothers in Arms, you know, talking that Conqueror or something like that, but maybe you sent the invite and the Conqueror didn't see it. I didn't look for that. Um, I saw this time earlier. I was like, oh, Tim, that, that's cool. I forgot I've completely bad the fact that this is defense but look at that he makes some bank on that one that was worth it thank you so much Braz for saying this in uh, thank you all guys everybody for watching please don't forget um, hit the like button if you enjoy it the contest is still running and so is the patreon contest to get my eyebrows waxed <laughs> and I do mean waxed off and not just like Make them more shapely. I think they look awesome. But I'm going to take off an eyebrow if you guys decide you want me to. It should be fun. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a great week. And I'll see you later. This IOE throughout.